Hey guys, just finishing up cutting a job here on the uh, on the green to true cut machine, and I thought I would show you this real quick. Uh, these plates uh, have a five eighths hole for a threaded stud and a nut that goes on each side. And if you notice here, that it starts in the hole, but it doesn't doesn't allow it to go all the way through. So this is actually my fault, and I want to. The video is uh, about how about how to recover from. An issue like this so one way you could recover from it is what I started doing was put a 5 8 drill bit in my milling machine and started drilling these out and I got this one done um, but if you've ever drilled through a plasma cut hole you know that it's extremely rough on drill bits uh, especially just taking a little bit out and um, so what we can do is if you haven't moved your machine after you've cut the job, all right, so you, if you notice, uh, we just cut two plates out and I'm back at the home position for those two plates. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna take all these plates that have the holes too small and one by one put them back in that first position and let it recut the holes. And I'm gonna uh, show you real quick in cam how we're gonna make an, uh, two adjustments to get this uh get these holes opened up bigger so let me show you that all right so uh if you take a look here you can see our two uh plates that we just cut out and if you i'm going to zoom in uh here on this hole so if we click on that you can see that the size of it is 656 i already made it about 20 20 thousandths bigger than standard but uh, i'm going to do two things to get it to properly recut these holes the correct size so the first thing i'm going to do is make it 675 you know, because these are clearance holes, and, and really you can make it even bigger than that if you wanted to. I'm going to make this 675 and hit apply, and I'm going to go and do that to all of them here in a minute. We're going to create a new tool path over here by going and clicking on the tool pass operation. And the first thing we're going to do is select the tool, and under spindle speed, we're going to run this at 50%. But spindle speed in this case is going to be a speed reduction on our machine by 50%. So whatever it would normally cut quarter inch plate at. 80 inches a minute. In this case, we're going to put 50% in there, and that's going to slow it down to half speed. So I'm going to, I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to go uh, down here and say inside offset. We're going to offset the hole, and we're going to put a really small lead in and lead out because we don't want it leading too far. Recut the holes. I'm just going to hold shift down and select those real quick. You can do this in sheet cam as well, a little bit different, but I've done this exact same thing in sheet cam where I've messed up before. And uh, so now the only thing it's going to create a cam uh, pro or cam toolpath for is are those first set of holes. So I'm going to hit calculate and it's going to give us an error message here and we're going to ignore that. All right, so now you can see if I go way in here close, you can see our little lead in. All right, so we're sticking our thumb drive in, and I'm going to go program, download, and recut holes is our first one. So we're going to open that up, and there you see on the screen are just the holes. All right, so uh, from here, the machine should be already all set. We're just going to double check the process, plasma. So we got mild steel, quarter inch, and we're using our uh, 60 amp unshielded uh, consumable there. So, so we can just close back out of that. And then uh, so we can say preview next job. So now we've got that in our next job cutting window. And from here, it's it's ready to cut. So let me show you uh, what we're going to do. So you can see that we've, we've got the machine set up just like we had it. So I'm going to go grab one of the plates that the holes are too small. I'm going to slide this back in there. One of the issues is there's a little bit of play, you know, there's a kerf width of about 80,000. So, um, you know, you can just kind of eyeball it and try to get it centered up the best you can. You know, I don't think it's going to matter a lot, again, because of the, the way this fits up. But I'm just going to try to get that centered. And just to confirm, see that's not going in there. So I think we're all set. We're just going to hit cycle start. I'm going to double check the plasma cutter and uh, we'll recut those holes. Now the one thing we have to do is cheat it a little bit and slide a piece of uh, metal underneath there. So we're just going to let it reference off of this when it goes down to reference and we'll, we'll yank it back out. 
but you got to be fast on this machine. It it does not play around uh, when it comes to the referencing and all that. So let's see if we can make this work. Check out our holes now. That one's got a slat below it. All right, so just a way to uh, save a, a job, you know. I mean, yeah, it's unproductive to have to recut the holes, but uh, wearing out drill bits, manually drilling those out, this is definitely easier. Hope this helps you guys. See ya.